Hey guys, Pastor Greg Locke here. Greggy Poo, been a long time. Where the fuck you been, bitch? If you are sympathetic towards abortion, or if you get easily offended, I suggest you turn this video off and you sit this one out. Challenge accepted. Let's do this. Bionic Dance! Greetings fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. So Greg hasn't posted a vid in about three months and you know, I've missed him. And he's gonna talk to us about God's feelings on birth control. But first, a little business. Greg, booby, you takes your phone, you turns it like this. Got it? I don't wanna have to show you again, you big galoot. I'm telling you this crap that New York has now passed that you can murder a baby right up until the time of its birth. This is some of the most wicked, vile, deviant, and perverted behavior that has ever been introduced to the United States of America. No, Greg, that would be William Shatner. How we ever imported that abomination from Canada, I will never know. Come on, New York. Wasn't 9-11 enough? Didn't God get our attention enough? 9-11? Are you serious? Are you gonna tell us that 9-11 happened because of abortion? That God was punishing us for abortion by killing almost 3,000 people? Where's the logic there? And think about it for a moment. Even if a God does exist, what makes you think it was yours? If you look at what happened on September 11th, 2001, I think someone else's God made the bigger point, don't you? We mourn the death of thousands of people, and now you celebrate the death of thousands of babies? Celebrate. Celebrate. Hey, everybody, break out the champagne, light the cake, and start the parade, because it's time to say woohoo to all those deliberately dead little crotch parasites. Oh, yeah. Sure, Greg, that's what's happening. You're going to murder and butcher babies all the way up nearly until the day before they are born? This is wicked. It'd be wicked, Greg, if that was what was actually happening. Have you done your homework? Do you know what the law actually says? You know what's getting aborted in those late-term abortions, Greg? Non-viable fetuses. That's right, Greg, they're dead. Whether a doctor takes it out or the woman shoves it out of her hoo-ha, it's not going to live. It's a corpse to be. It will never be that cooing baby you're seeing in your head. And you anti-choice dumbasses always say baby. Never fetus, never embryo. It's always a baby. Face facts, Greg. If it's not a late-term abortion, and those are only allowed up to 24 weeks, that's three and a half months, it's not an infant. Not even close. Pay attention, Greg. This is a baby. This is a fetus. Stop pretending this is the one getting aborted. So this up until the day of birth abortion you're talking about isn't what you think it is. Either they're removing something that will never live or the woman's life is in danger. That's it. That's the only way this is gonna happen. So quit your whining. Nobody is killing babies, you moron. If you don't think this nation is gonna suffer the wrath and judgment of God, you are smoking crack and you ought to sue your brain for non-support. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is beyond asinine. This is crazy. This is heinous. I'm here to tell you, this is nothing more than butchering babies. If you think Planned Parenthood is about women's health care, you have not been paying attention. This is another case of not doing your homework. Planned Parenthood provides contraception, adoption referrals, cancer screenings, STD treatments, etc. Depending on how you want to measure it, abortion accounts for 3 to 12 percent of what Planned Parenthood does. Conservatives like to say that it's 97 percent, but their argument is usually about the price of an abortion, how much money Planned Parenthood spends, and not the number of people having the procedure done. So which of us hasn't been paying attention? Greg. Again, you haven't done your homework. You're listening to your biased conservative echo chamber. I don't give the flip of a wooden nickel what you think about me or our church, and you can threaten me. You can say you're going to burn our church down, pick it in the front yard of my house, and tell me we're going to lose our 501c3 stat. I don't give the crap anymore. I am so sick and tired of what's going on in the United States of America. Why don't the church stand up? These limp-wristed preachers that are afraid to get up and say something for fear that somebody's going to leave their church. I'm going to tell you right now, bucko, God's left your church. 
If you support abortion, you have never been saved by the grace of God a natural day in your life. Much as I've missed Greg, that doesn't mean I like him. He's a dick. And as much as my darker side is kind of amused, don't go threatening him, okay? I'd like to think that none of my viewers would do that, but if you're so inclined, please. Think twice. That said, I'm definitely amused by theists arguing among themselves, telling each other they've lost their faith or whatever. Let them play King of the Mountain. Just let me get my popcorn first. And I love how he calls the preachers limp-wristed. Sounds like he's engaging in some scarcely veiled homophobia, and while I'm a tiny smidge offended, being a lesbian and all, watching Greg make a fool of himself offsets any outrage I might have felt. Somebody says, well, you don't have to understand everything about pro-life to be born again. No, you need to understand Jesus to be born again. But if you understand Jesus and you've been born again, you will be pro-life. Did you hear me? Without a shadow of a doubt, you will be pro-life. Well, I am pro-life, but somehow I don't think this is what he meant. <laughs> Again, Greg, whether you're pro-life or not, the bill just passed in New York has nothing to do with it. Life isn't an option, abortion or no abortion. I'm sick of the church crowd sitting up saying, oh, I'm born again, but I believe in abortion. That's nonsense. You are lost as a ball in high weeds, and you need to get born again. You got to read a Bible sometime, bucko. You say, you're fired up. You better believe I'm fired up. In the words of my good friend, Graham Allen in the Rant Nation, ah, are you crazy? Preachers, stand up and say something. Quit being so sissified. New York, I'm telling you, this was a dumb mistake watching that vicious, vile, vulgar video of all those people clapping. Oh, yay, rah, 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 we've won a victory. No, you lost a great battle is what you did, butchering babies. Ah, human veal, among the tastier delicacies. But you have to make sure the infant is nice and ripe before you butcher it, otherwise it's a little on the bitter side. Kind of like when they go rotten in those teenage years. Celebrating Planned Parenthood. That whole wicked organization ought to be defunded this very second. I'll roll up my sleeves and fight against this bunch of mongrels. Believe in butchering babies, killing babies, saying it's okay, it's a woman's choice. My hind leg, it's God's choice. How many legs do you have, Greg? And it is a woman's choice. Her body, her choice whether some other life form inhabits it. I swear, if men got pregnant, abortion would be called a divine right. Change my mind. God gives life, God takes life. It's not your choice. Planned Parenthood is a butcher meal. If you believe in abortion and you support it and don't like what I have to say, you can unfollow me any day you jolly well please. Oh no, Greg. I consider it my duty to follow you. To dog your heels online just to see what your dumb ass is up to. That's what you do with psychos. You keep tabs on them to make sure they're not hurting other people. Babies are babies. They are real people. Can't even give a an absolute criminal a lethal injection in New York. But you can inject and kill a baby? You people are full of nonsense, wickedness. You heard it right here from me, and I'm not going to back down no matter what you people think about it. Even when it turns out that you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, Greg, are you capable of changing your mind on this one? Will you hear how these are not babies at all, that they're dead on arrival, and say you didn't know that, and that it changes everything? Can you do that? Are you capable of it? Or are you so caught up in your vision of a bundle of joy and a bassinet that your ability to think rationally has been completely destroyed? I'm pretty sure it's the latter. I'd take those odds to Vegas. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying don't run on automatic. Instead, please think. If you look... Ugh. Planned Parenthood... And as much as my darker side is kind of amused, don't go threatening him. Uh, bleh. Watching Greg make a fool of himself outrage outrage uh, offsets. <sighs>